the important thing was he, he said these are in all cells because he look, started looking at other plants and other plants and other plants and other plants and then he found that they were everywhere and therefore the idea that each cell has one nucleus comes from his work 1830. The identification of the nucleus wasn't Robert Brown's only contribution to science. He's much better known for his role in physics, where he was looking at the movement of particles within pollen grains, what we now call Brownian motion. A hundred years later, a chap called Albert Einstein would use Brownian motion to prove the existence of the atom. So Brown has a unique position in the history of science as having made major contributions to atomic theory and to cell theory, the smallest units of matter and the smallest units of life. Respect.